What are you doing? What are you doing? We're about 800 metres. That way is Kong Law Cave. We just stopped at this little cafe, guys. Uh, just wanted to show you the bird. Bizarre looking bird. We stopped here, grabbed some lunch. Pork and ginger, rice. Bizarre looking bird over there. And our feathered friend that just flew in. Sorry, Nene. Now, now, over now. Alright guys, this is the game plan because it's such a miserable day. There's a lot of activities outside in the water, kayaking, things like that. Um, how much was to go on the three hour cave tour um, and the 65, boat? 65,000 kip each. And it's the same price, there is no farang or lao price. Yeah, same. Um, because it's three hours and we've got a long way to go today, we're not going to do that tour. We've paid 5,000 kip each to go in there, have a look around at the entrance and that. You can go look at the place. At, um, it's 20,000 kip to take the car in. We're taking the car in so we don't get wet. I'm standing out here talking to you guys and I'm getting wet. So do you understand all that? We've come to Conlaw Cave and we're not going in it. Mainly because we've been so impressed with this place and this trip so far that we are coming back. This is a song for those who wait, for those who can celebrate, for those who always know the way, for those who would never say. I make you feel bad cause it's full moon I make you feel bad cause I hate myself It's for those who call you on your phone And know what to say without any help And I guess it goes Somewhat like this Are you sure you will love me in the middle of the night? When the darkness that's living outside Turn it inside out yeah. Ah I like these colors Nene styling All right, nice swimming hole. We might walk around there and have a look, hey? In actual fact, guys, you just won't be missing out if we don't do the boat crew. Was you just looking at me then, or were you walking down at me pants? In actual fact, you won't miss uh, much anyway, because as you've seen from past cave videos, it's too friggin' dark for you guys. But... Here we go, Conwell Cave. Looks pretty cool, don't it? Nice swimming hole there. A lot of people coming back with their life jackets on. We'll see if we can make it over here without having to pay any anything. We've only just paid just to get into this park and look around, not actually go not actually do the river cruise, so I can't see why we can't do the go over and have a sticky beak in the cave. But I'm doing video of how Nini vlogs. You see, you got, I can see you see your box there, honey. <laughs> right, I've been told that she doesn't like being videoed vlogging, so we're not going to do that. But this is Nene in action, vlogging. A lot of hand movements. Sort of, sort of like this action happening. See, that, ha that goes on a lot. <laughs> she loses a train of thought when she sees my camera on her, but it's good to find somewhere like this that isn't too far from Bianchen. Like we're talking not too far. I think it's 
probably to get to here. How, how long? Four to, four to five hours from Vientian. From Vientian. Yeah. We'll say five hours, which isn't far, you know. We're usually heading up north, way up north, to um, find nice places like this, yeah. And I'd rate that up with Namcut. Um, I'd rate Riverview Resort up there with Namcut Yolapa, which was at Udamsai, which is shit. 12 hours drive. Fishing area. No swimming in this area. Wow. Check out the fish. Bit of a shame you can't swim here, isn't it? There is plenty of other places to swim. But... No sooner you get here and it's vlogging down. Look where Nini carries her phone. <laughs> 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 All right, now I'm out of the rain. Look, trying to work out what that noise is. Can you hear that? Like a big air conditioner. I think it's just the sound of the breeze coming through the cave. Whole heap of bats flying around here at the moment, guys. See that? Oh. I wonder where they're coming from. Well, coming from the cave, obviously, but. Do it them all. Hey. Oh, but we couldn't do it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Bats. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Top day. Top day, <laughs> dear. Merci. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. What? <laughs> oh, well, just just walk today. Sabadi, just Sabadi. We just come for a walk in. We're in here alone with the boat. We might take a boat, hey? We'll jump in a boat. And we'll go up by ourselves. Okay. We'll jump in a boat and we'll go up the river by ourselves. By ourselves. <laughs> you got your phone, haven't you? Your phone with a torch. Yeah. The light on your tor on your phone. We'll use that. And yeah. We'll go up the river. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks when you have to explain a joke, doesn't it? Look at that. And you see that line there? It's flogging down out there. Absolutely flogging down. We're getting buzzed by bats. They're cool. They're all right. They're leaving us alone. Just sussing us out. They're good size. Probably about a foot wide. More people have just disembarked from the boat and coming back. And this rain doesn't seem like it's going to let up. We would be absolutely drenched by the time we get back to the car. That is flogging down. It is absolutely teeming. Here she comes, here she comes. Bit of a lull in the rain and we're making a bolt for it. Uh, while we're waiting, Nini was just having a chat to one of the boaties in there. It's not three hours. <coughs> uh, there's another village on the other side of this cave system. And this river is a shortcut from Konglor village. 
Nadu or something like that she said. Oh. Hello. Hello Sabadi. There's a shortcut through the other village and he said because of the motorboats it's only a two hour trip an hour there and an hour back and you can stop on the other side if you want and 65,000 kip 60? 65,000 kip but we will find out next time we're here as it's not that great of a trip from Bientian for five hours and there are a few other things to do around here too so I'm just repeating myself now but we were stuck in there for a good half hour it was absolutely pissing down and we've got to make a go of it to make our way home now I can't see us um, getting back to Vientiane before dark. We've just stopped here for lunch guys. We're not even a kilometre from the entrance to Conglaw Cave. Just uh, Conglaw Village we're at. Just on the side of the road. And a little local cafe. They do serve some European dishes. French fries. Mainly um fried rice pork I'm getting uh, fried pork with ginger and rice and some fries on the side but what grabbed my attention what waiting for the chicken with lemon plus rice is number 18 can you guys read that is that a dish or is it just a typo don't know It'd be cool to sit out here if it wasn't raining We've walked up, we've just parked out the front here. Cars just parked in their driveway, more little huts here. We've walked up here, there's a dog sitting in the middle of floor growling. Old mate's asleep on the banana bed there. Great set in this, how good would that look when the rice is uh, there, nice and green. So yeah, we've woken the old mate up and he's whacking us up some lunch now. Still a bit of everything to this shop. Bit of a fruit store. He's got his own chicken pen down here. duck loving the weather down there rooster just there everywhere I look seeing something nice layout this bud isn't it With all the pots and that up high the little huts Nini's found somebody to have a chat to Check out these mangoes, hey, how good do they look? They are nice. They even got wine, <laughs> wine here. They even sell wine. Yeah. They have wine. Uh, Summersby cider. What else we got in there? Tiger beer, beer layer. This would be a good restaurant at night because in this villages, this village, village obviously survives on all the homestays and that around here. Everywhere you look there is a homestay. Now the only uh, Spring River Resort isn't the only accommodation around here. That's just isolated out by itself. This village, which is only a kilometre or so, not even a kilometre from the gates of Conglaw Cave. It's just jam-packed with guest houses, homestays, things like that. And lots of little restaurants like this. So you can imagine this place just filling up with um, tourists, backpackers, 
and such of a, as a, of a night chilling out to the mountains with the sun setting in the west looking out over these rice fields the backdrop of the mountain sucking on a nice beer layer it's making me thirsty and this was the dog that was growling at me I don't trust him oh, he's scared where are you come from mate? what are you doing? <coughs> what are you doing? Look at your big eyelashes. <laughs> Come to join us for lunch, have you? <coughs> yeah? Or would you like beer lao? <coughs> Oi, get off my table. <coughs> Okay, la, la. So, see you later, buddy. You gonna say goodbye to us? We're going. Yeah. <coughs> Anybody know what type of bird this is? It's bugging me. Give us a name to what this chap is. What type of bird it is? Okay. Cup J there. Bye bye. Sharp curve ahead. Sharp curve. Yeah. Sharp 